Now, imagine you have a form inside Office Forms and users can get to that form and submit the form and you have to capture that information and push it inside the SharePoint list. I know, it's not a new problem and there are lots of videos on YouTube that beautifully explain you that. But why am I gonna do this video again? Well, I'm not gonna go through the basic scenario. It's a very special type of field, which is multiple choice. Not just the multiple choice, this is the choice field with multiple selection options. So a user can select two, three, four, five, or even more answers from the choices. And we want to capture it and send it to a SharePoint choice field with multiple selection enabled. It's not like there is no video there. I have seen a few videos, but no, that's not the way to do it. So let's see how we can do it properly. And I'm also gonna explain you how I get to that solution. For this video, I created a form inside Office Forms called the multi-select choice field. And inside this form, I have just two questions. One of them is how old are you, which is a choice field, but single select, so user can select only one of them. The second question is that, how do you enjoy your weekend? And there are a bunch of activities, but it is multi-select. So if I pick this one, you will see that multiple answers are allowed. Now, to store these answers inside SharePoint, I created a list called weekend survey, and the title is just a dummy value, but the age is a choice field, let me show you, that has exactly the same values. I just copied exactly the same values that I have here, and I put them here for the choices of this field. And the other one, the weekend fun, is going to capture the answer from the question number two, which exactly is the same copies for this one. And this one, if I click on edit, you will see exactly the same choices are there. The only difference is that for this one, if you click on more options, you will see that I have allow multiple selections. So basically the questions that I have inside forms are matching the fields. Typically when we want to capture the values from Office Forms, we want to use Power Automate. And I've already created a flow like this. So when the response is submitted, it's actually mapped to the same form. It gets a form ID from there. And I have the get response details that captures the form ID and the response ID from the answer that the user submitted. I also put compose here that puts the age from the first question and the weekend from the second question just to investigate the differences. We need to complete this flow so that it creates an item inside SharePoint list that maps exactly what I have in this form. It's easy and straightforward, but how we get to that answer is something that I would like to talk about it. First of all, let's submit an instance of the form and see what we get for the age and the weekend. Remember, age is single select, weekend is multi-select. So let me get out of this guy and I go back to my form, click on preview and I want to submit something. And then I say, for example, how old are you? I am an old fart. So how do you enjoy your weekend? Of course, fishing, hunting and camping. And I click on submit. Let's see what we get inside our Power Automate flow. So I go back here, let's refresh it and get the latest answer seven seconds ago. Looks like the latest one, so I click on it. And while I'm inside it, I expand Compose. And here is the thing. For the age, it got exactly the text of the item that has been selected. But when it comes to the weekend, it gives me fishing, hunting, and camping, double coat, double coat, double coat, and they are inside the square bracket. So they look like a JSON array. It is actually a JSON array, but the way that form works, you get everything here as a string, not an actual array. So whatever that you have here, if you want to process it as an array, you have to convert it to an array, which is great. But let's see when we want to create an item inside SharePoint, what parameter does it expect? Does it accept an array like this? So let me click on 
edit and I want to add a new step under SharePoint and I want to look for create item there we go now the site address let me just pick it up YouTube demo and the list name is going to be weekend survey now once I select it title for example I call it dummy title doesn't matter age value is not going to be any one of them it's a custom value which is coming from the answers called how old are you because it's a single select it's literally text so if you assign the exact text it just accepts it and it's happy so single select choice is not a big deal the question comes here because if you look at this multiple choice or weekend fun value you can have option one two three four because it's multiple choice and for every single one of them it's a selection from one of the available choices this is not what you're looking for we want to see if we can push one array directly to it and if you see this tiny icon here it says switch to input entire array fantastic this is what we want so if i get the answers from this get response details convert it to array will that be good enough let's see so i click on this one and first of all i want to create a variable so let's say initialize variable and i want to call it weekend fun let me start it with var and rename this control properly rename initialize variable weekend fun which is great now the type for this one should be an array and the value that comes from the question it's a string so to convert it to a json array inside power automate i need to use json function so i click on expression and i'm using the function json inside power automate which gets a string and converts it to its equivalent json object and because what we got here is inside the square bracket so it's actually an array but that looks like string if we just convert it to json it should automatically convert into an array so i use json i click on dynamic content and i pick the answer from how do you enjoy your weekend and i click on ok great now i have an array and it seems like if i just come back here and for the weekend fun i get this array called var weekend fun it's going to do the job it's added saved and let's test it i go out of it so i can track the answer and then i go back to my form let's submit another form so this time i'm trying to be hard working adult and i want to go fishing and shopping and i click on submit let's go back to our form and i say refresh and it failed i was expecting that and i'm telling you why let's go back here and first of all let's see what is inside this variable as you can see it actually converted to an array so this one is happy but create item is not happy there are lots of ways that you can investigate that but i take you to the easiest way i already created a tiny power apps app here that is connected to exactly the same list so you can see sample response young and drunk and it is coming from here now to see what is actually inside this field the backstage in addition of these two fields i can come back here and i can add another field here i can simply add a text label here and this text label whatever it gets it doesn't really matter i say show me for this item the weekend fun it doesn't like it because it's something that i don't know and i'm here to figure it out if i use json function inside power apps i can convert whatever that is inside this to json and when i run it you see it shows value camping 
value hunting. So it's not just an array of a string, it's an array of objects with the name value and whatever the selection that we have is assigned to the value. So the actual problem to solve is converting something like this to something like this. And this is extremely easy because inside Power Automate, we have an action called select. It accepts a JSON array and it can convert it to a totally different thing. So for us, we need to simply pass the hunting and camping in a form of an array, not just a string that we got from forms. And then we say map whatever the item that I have to the field called value. Fantastic. Let's go and do it. So I go back to my Power Automate. I click on edit. Right after the variable is created and it contains the JSON array, I say, I don't like this array. I want to convert it to a different type of array using select. It's under data operation. So let me find select. There we go. Why is it hiding there? The value that I want to put inside it, it's coming from var weekend fun. It likes an array and we give it an array. We want to convert it to this. So the field that we have is called value. So I simply put value here and whatever we assign to this value field is going to be an expression. And we use the formula item, which refers to the current item in this select from this array. I click on OK and bingo, we have it. Now, what comes out of this select exactly matches this format. When we go back here, instead of this value that this guy doesn't like it, I can simply say whatever that comes out of my select is a format that is matching what you actually have inside SharePoint. Job done. Let me just save it and test it. But before I test it, let me tell you about two things. If you are new to JSON and everything sounds a little bit weird to you, no problem. I have a free course called JSON Crash Course. It is free. It stays free. It's on Udemy. Simply scan this code. You will directly go to the course and it's going to take you less than an hour to master JSON. We also learned about Compose and Select other Power Automate data operations. These are not the only actions there. We actually have quite a few of them. Feel free to Google and learn about every single one of them. They can do miracles for you. But if you want to learn all of them in one shot, not just about them and how to work with them, to understand how each one of them works, I have another course, which is Master Microsoft Power Automate Expressions in two hours. You can scan this code and get this course for free. Now let's get back to our testing. So I go back again to my form. And this time I pick, for example, I'm a middle-aged guy that I like hunting, shopping, fishing, camping, and now I'm too old to drink. I click on submit and I go straight back to SharePoint to refresh this guy. And you will see everything is perfectly added inside SharePoint. Now, please go to comment section and tell me what you think about it. Well, the bottom line is that if you want to successfully build effective flows inside Power Automate, you got to understand JSON and you got to understand expressions. I just leave it right there and you know what to do next. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, did you like this video? Please don't forget that one. That's going to help me a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.